Okay, hello YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing you how to increase your USB polling rate for your mouse, which is useful in things such as Counter Strike and any PC game really to improve your accuracy. Um, because a lot of general like optical mice come with a very low polling rate, but most of them can be overclocked basically to uh, to increase this accuracy and general preciseness basically. So. Uh, yeah, and I assume if you've gone to this tutorial, you know you know that anyway. Um, okay, so let's get on with it. So uh, first off, you want to go to the description and go to this link or the download links. Um, basically, what this will tell you is to download uh, all of these things. Uh, so first off, you want to download this thing called Driver Signature Enforcement Overrider. Um, click where it says this link. Download that. Um, put it in a folder. Make sure you label the folder or something because you're going to want to put all of these files into one folder so it makes it easier to install. Okay, so once you downloaded that, download these three attached files here and uh, put them in the same folder. Okay, so after you've done that, you want to go to this program here called DS DSEO 13B. So uh, click, click open that. It'll ask you to say yes. Um, hit next on this. Hit yes here, and you'll get a window like this. Um, click enable test mode. Just hit next, and then you're going to want to restart your computer. So just go directly from that and restart your computer. Um, after you've done that, you'll get this little watermark down here. Um, that that that's all you're going to get. There's no other changes. That's it. Um, after that you're going to want to go to your HID USBF fi uh, folder make sure you've extracted it go into it and then go to where it says HD HID USBF dot inf this file here right click it and choose install after you've done all that just hit open and all that then after that you're going to want to go to setup in the same folder hit yes and now you get a window like this um, it should pick up your mouse make sure you've got filter on device um, in the corner checked just click your mouse and select the right polling rate so uh, mine's on 500 here and uh, that works fine that's 500 and 1000 is not really that big of a difference you won't feel any difference at all to be honest um, and after you've done that just go and close do not hit install service or restart. Both of these will break your computer. Well, not your computer, sorry, your USB ports. Just don't do it because then you have to switch your USB port or uninstall it and then redo it all. And it's just a really big pain. And uh, yeah, so just go and hit close after you've done that. Then you want to go back into uh, DS DSEO. And now you're going to want to go to sign a system file so you go through this again um, hit next and it will come up with a box like this now I'm going to post the actual directories you need to put in here in the description so simply just copy and paste them um, I have them here so copy and paste the first one it doesn't matter which order you do this in copy and paste it hit OK it will come up with the system uh, file has been signed successfully hit OK, do it again with another one with this uh, next one which says SYS WOW 64 hit do the same, it will say blah 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 and then simply all you have to do is go straight to restart, restart your computer and you're good to go and you've now overclocked your mouse if you uh, if you want to test your actual polling rate um, take the uh, files that are also in that website and uh, simply just open them up and change it so you see here mine's 125 because I haven't actually overclocked this mouse yet but it does work I promise <laughs> um, and yeah thanks for watching this tutorial um, if you have any questions just simply put them in the description and uh, yeah that's it I think um, I'm gonna also do a troubleshooting video because there is some problems with certain antiviruses picking up false positives and not letting you run certain programs but there's nothing to worry about um, you simply just have to disable your firewall I will do a tutorial for that however anyway so uh, 
yeah, this has been Jake Got Game, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys.